Hey friends, what's up? Mathematician over here. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this awesome cool looking square root spiral. So let's begin. To begin with, we'll draw a number line as shown. After that, we'll take one unit above one. That means perpendicular to it. Then, we'll draw square root 2. If you don't know how to create square root 2, go visit my channel. Guys, over here, we have taken one unit equals to one inch. Make sure to note down the unit. Now, we'll get a protector and with square root 2 as the base, we'll draw square root 3, 4 and so on. So here we have our protector and let's mark a point perpendicular to it. That means on 90 degrees. Now, we'll draw a line perpendicular to it. But will on only extend the line till 1 inch. The reason for 1 inch is we have taken 1 unit equals to 1 inch. That's why we'll take only 1 inch. After that, we'll join that line with 0 to get square root 3. After that, we can continue this process to get square root 4 and so on. This only works when we have a right angle triangle. That's why we need to take 90 degrees now let's create square root 4. Similarly, you can get square root 5, 6 and so on. So now I'll teach you how you can mark those numbers on the number line using compass. So we'll take our pen and compass. Now to start with, we'll mark square root 2 on the number line. For that, we'll take the radius equal to square root 2 and then we'll create an arc on the, which cuts the number line at a certain point. That point will be a square root 2. We'll do the same for square root 3, 4 and so on. So we'll take the radius as square root 3 now and we'll mark it on the number line by creating an arc as shown. And after that we'll do for square root 4. So we'll take the radius as square root 4 and make an arc which cuts through the number line. So here we are with the full square root spiral. We got square root 5, 6, 7 and so on till square root 17. That's it for the video guys, I hope you like and enjoy the video, see you soon guys, bye bye.